National Park. South Africa. Alright, greetings family, greetings, greetings. Welcome to our National Park venture. Uh, Brother Molly is going to share a lot of details about uh, this entire what, two to yes. two and a half hour journey around the park. So, welcome into Arusha National Park. Very, very soon we'll start seeing the animals in their natural state of mind. Life, like not in a cage, not like in a zoo. <laughs> Yes. None of our national park is fenced. So these yes. animals can go out of the park and come back into the park, yes. protected in both sides. I mean, it's protected when they are in the park, but they are also protected when they are outside the park. So how big is it? Okay. How big is the area? Yes. 545 square kilometers. Convert yourself. I started in kilometers, I don't know in miles. So you convert into miles. Um, in the park here we have a small area that we're gonna see soon. We call it a small Serengeti because it's a small open plain. And uh, animals use it for resting. Sometimes when they are in the bush, they are more stressed because they cannot see far. So they will come out in this small plain, lay down and relax for a while, and then they will walk back into the forest for grazing. Do you have like night outings where people can come and stay in the park? We have what we call night game drive, right. but it's not here. Night game drive can be conducted in Karangire, Manyara, and recently they have, planned, or they have started in Serengeti, but not in the whole Serengeti, some of the areas that we can do That's the night game drive. Fun. And the night game drive, although it's more expensive than the day game drive, it only lasts for two hours. To answer Serengeti dog, it only lasts for two hours for you to see the night active animals. Our parks, you can start seeing the buffaloes in the distance. Our parks are open from six in the morning up to six in the evening. The reason is we need to give animals time to enjoy their life. If you Make it like if you go to Botswana and South Africa, you can be out until until six, seven, eight after sunset. Uh, you get more into animals' life. So we want animals to enjoy their life by giving them enough time from six to six. And then we have our time from six in the morning to six in the evening. Wow, it's nice back there to your right. Wow. You can see the the good number of buffaloes. You can see the warthogs, the warthogs are small, and you can see the zebras. You see the lots of zebras? The so, bus will stop. So use your phone and your and uh, zoom in real good, and you'll be able to get a good view. We're looking at a, a, a part that we can pull a, a pull side from the main road, from the road, so that we have half of it. Let's try from here. Let's try first here. You see the buffaloes? Yeah, they are. Are the black ones laying down? That's the family of buffaloes. Maybe sometimes when you are in the park, you can see the single ones, and those are the solitary bulls. And uh, the reason of being them alone is being kicked out of, out of the family by the other men. Male will always fight for dominance. Within the family of buffaloes, the family can start from 6 to 100 or 200, depends on the size of the area. So, in the park like here, the group cannot be very big due to the size. So, one male can have, within that family group, one male can have up to three, four females. And uh, he will always fight with the other male because he wants to maximize the number. The only way he can maximize the number is defeating the other men and taking all, all his female and have, have them as his female. So they always fight. And because they always fight, sometimes they're exhausted, tired of fighting. They'll get out of the family. They go to a rehab time, they eat, have time to drink, get the energy. When they get the energy, they'll come back, fight the male who is in the group, kick him away and take over. That's very good system because there is no inbreeding. Because the male who has been kicked from this group is not necessarily coming back to this group. You will always find a group nearby where he is. Mm. The bachelor's group or losers, 
<laughs> is, the, is the group of two to six? The bachelor's group don't lose. We call them, uh, they, to, to make them happy, we call them bachelors, but the reality is that they are losers. <laughs> they, yeah, fight, they lose the fight, but they will get energy, they will eat, they will relax and go back and fight again. So they and, win. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if this can happen in the real life because once the male has been defeated by one male, female will accept the new strong blood male. That's not like colonization. <laughs> so, so, so there's no, there's no, no, there's no inbreeding for the group of animals that are doing that system of in and out. You will have inbreeding for giraffe. We'll have inbreeding for zebras. We have inbreeding for other animals, but not like buffaloes, impala, where the males are kicked out by the strong ones and the weaker ones become losers. Uh, they spend most of their daytime when it's hot to relax and when when it comes to sunset around five when the sun goes more down they will go back to the grazing areas buffaloes do have night vision that's why if you take a lamp in the night and flash to their eyes you see the shiny part of their eyes that's what helps them to see during the night some animals who have no night vision they are daytime, we call them Duno, and the other ones are Duno and Nicktuno. They can do both. Cheetah can only do one. He can only be active during the daytime, he's a cat, but they cannot see during the night. So these ones, when the sun goes down, is their time to go on grazing. And then sometimes they will get together again. Early in the morning, they will keep on grazing. If they get that uh, water, they dune in the grass. And then from 10, 11, they'll sit and sit down for relaxing. They are ruminant, so they keep on ruminating what they have been collecting all that time. Um, and then by around midday, they will go for water and get back to the shade, sit down and then go out again. So it's a, like 24 hours movement, but in between they have short breaks. And there's no lions in here. This park has been recorded to some people, they have seen lions here. But to my 20 years of coming in this park, I have not had a chance of. But I have seen a leopard here. On the national park website, it says. In this park, I'm talking of Arusha National Park. Yeah, this one. I'll look it up before I came. So the lions are. Well, we have a neighbor a national park, Amboseli, in Kenya. Because of this size, of the size of the area, I think they have migrated to the area that's better life for them. But also, before this serious uh, wildlife protection happens in our country, the locals fight the cats like lion and leopard because of their animals. The lions will come out. Mm -hmm. If somebody forgot to close the kraal or the keto bandar, the lion will get a chance of eating the lion, so the locals will not like that. So I will say I have never seen one. There's no lions in this park, mm -hmm. but I have seen the leopard. Here. We have elephants. It's very tricky to see them because of the nature of this area is very densey forest mm. and sometimes if you're lucky with crossing the road when they are crossing the road you can see otherwise it's difficult to see so uh, in so many cases you say yeah, we need to go to Angoro no, uh, Tarangire oh, okay. Tarangire and Gorongoro Tarangire is a home of elephants from mm -hmm. about 4,000 to 4,500 elephants living in the Tarangire really? park so mm -hmm. it's a huge ecosystem of elephants bubble trees uh, you can always hang hook on a Bomani. Maybe he will. Uh, this is more historical study tour, with a touch of wildlife. But if you can plan for future, we can go together to Serengeti. We can yes. go together to. We can go together to Manyara, where you can see the tree climbing lines. Not guaranteed. You can go to Tarangire, where you see elephants and also lions up on the trees. Um, well, that's something else you can you can do. So we we'll also have there. We also have zebras. You call it zebra, we call it zebra. There's no conflict than that. Zebra are here, and oh, there's a one uh, bird, big bird landing, you see, on the right side of the... That's a marabou stop. It's gone down now. Probably what I saw yesterday. Out in the back, okay. Um, we also have zebras and water hogs. The water hogs are small ones in between uh, the 
if you look through the group the, the, the group of buffaloes the two on the right and the more in the left look in between there you can see there or behind the buffaloes you can see the black spots those mm. are the warthog they are both all of them are grass eaters so there is no conflict and since there is no competition of food so they have life that everyone is eating what he or she can and there's no conflict you can see the if you can really see with your binocular or with your camera, you can see the warthogs are kneeling down with their forelegs like the other pigs. That helps them to reach the, the food easily by kneeling down. As you know, the pigs has a flat four lips and that's a kind of a disc which helps to detect quality of food. All the pigs do have that. Eat no, if you have seen, uh, if you have seen, yeah, they eat everything. They eat everything. But if you go to the pigs' bander in a in a house and you pour the food, it's a good food. They will quickly da dig down to the bottom because they want to detect to see the quality of food. So after that, they can eat everything. But at the beginning, they need to get to the under the lower they can. To, the, mm. to, to see the quality of food. And the only way they do it is by using the, the soft disc part of their nose. Yeah, the roots. Yeah. yeah, so you can see them digging out the roots, grass they eat. And the only way they do it is by kneeling down. That's what is called comfortable feeding. If you see them feeding and standing with all their four legs, that they are in kind of anxiety that something may happen soon. So they cannot mm. really be relaxed, wow. yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, in the park here, in Arusha National Park today, we don't have, they don't really have stress because nobody is coming in for hunting. Because the locals, will, in the former days, they will hunt them for food, but today nobody is hunting them. The zebras are here, and as you can see, they are very good in shape because zebra can digest up to 70% of what they eat, which is high percent. As you know, elephant can only digest 30%, so it's losing huge amount of food that is taken in but that's different case for the zebras because they can digest up to 70 percent they have the same stomach system like cows have with the four stomachs the yes cow. they do okay. yeah okay. so they eat what they eat and they digest it fully and that's why their feces are dry when they come out mm. it's almost dry wow um in the okay. park we have this area where you can see them or in the northern part of the park but later we will pass that area and we may see them closer than here. We also have giraffes, but we need to go more eastern part of the park where there's more acacia trees. As you know, they depend more in acacia, although they can also be around this area, but they love to eat from acacia trees. No, just put it up. Any question? Sorry. That's so family, we're gonna continue on this route and then we are gonna show you more of the Arusha National Park. The car is off. But the car is off, we cannot run the AC. Yes, Mr. Bomani, we have windows open so we can get good view and focus of this beautiful park. <laughs> oh, that's what you went to get this. This is what you need, family. <laughs> Bring you some binoculars. A, yeah, yeah. And, and things the, like that. The, the, the warthogs are with piglets, the baby ones. Mm. So how yeah. far can that binocular zoom up? Because the size is eight times forty-two. Okay, perfect. That's a decent zoom. Yeah, it's a good zoom. Eight forty-two. So family, we're gonna put that on a list of things that people may or be open to looking. But let me know what you think. You see the view. If you see the warthogs where they are, the one in the middle is a female with three babies. And you know, you, you, you got a you got a real good zoom then. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. You see it? It's good. Do you recommend people bring something like that? So the the the. the, 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 the uh, <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> yes, you. Uh, Anybody else have binoculars? No. Uh, yeah, I gotta uh, invest in one. It's, the pigs, the piglets, or the 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 the, the warthog. The black she, ones. She, the small black ones. After the buffaloes, the middle one. She has got two babies. 
And let me show you our Zoom family. Our three babies. One is just behind is it. Is it eagle? Uh, for all the pigs family, as you know, the number of the teats that mother has is number of the babies. If she has got only one mm. active teat, she will only get one baby always. Wow. So, a half, one half, or all pigs. pigs all family. pigs. All pigs? Yeah. Wow. So if you get a pig that is giving birth of up to 12, that means she has got six on that side and the other side six that are active. Some you can they can be there, but they are not producing any milk. Oh, really? Yeah. I know that. So the number. Okay. Now you go to the right side of the left side of the tree. You see the only tree in the middle. Mm -hmm. Go to the left side. You can see two pigs, two yes. warthogs with the babies. Oh. October, November is their season of giving birth, and now you can see a lot of them with the babies. The I'm main the enemy. Babies. How many is it? How many babies? Two. I can see them. I, there are now. two. Yeah, there are two families now. There's one on the right side with three, and the left side with two. Um, the enemy of those babies can be cheetahs, can be leopard, can be lion, but also the birds of prey. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. I need to get so birds of prey can also be a problem to the. Anybody else need? Are we good? Is the medicine? Yes. Okay. okay. All right. So perfect. That is good, my brother. That is my. That is okay, good. Okay, we can move. So family, if you want to see more of those close-ups, you can take a look, please. Uh, we're gonna have to bring her binoculars. No, you don't need because we have extended already. It works with your glass.